Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Well, we got a big Packers game today. What are you making during your spread? This is also a great dip for the holidays. You've got to have a great dip for a game or for a holiday party. And I love this recipe because it's a make-ahead. It also comes to me from a very special lady and a great cook. Nick Collins' wife, Packer Nick Collins' wife, Andrea Collins, um, is just a fabulous cook, and she actually gave me this recipe. So literally, you can throw this one together in five minutes flat. Starts out with a can of refried beans, just a 16-ounce can, and I'm just going to mix that in a bowl with an envelope of taco seasoning mix. And they actually have now um, some of the flavored refried beans, so if you like it with a little heat, they have some with jalapeno peppers, so it's just up to you. This just happens to be the plain refried beans, and sometimes it can get a little thick on you, so sometimes I'll add a little, little bit of water just to make that go a little bit smoothly. Okay, so one can of beans, one packet of taco seasoning mix, and this is, like I say, a total make-ahead. So if you've got people coming over for the game, make this this morning, get it out of the way. So you just mix the taco seasoning mix and the beans together, and that just gives the beans some great flavor. And I'm going to do a little bit of water. just depends on what kind of, you know, the brand of the beans you're getting. Some are a little thicker than others. Okay, so that's my first layer. And I put that into a, a medium-sized casserole dish just right on the bottom. Spread those beans right down there. I love this dip. And man, let me tell you, some of those Packers wives are really good cooks. I had the pleasure to cook with a few of them. And man, they've got some great recipes. So that's layer number one. Now on top of that, I'm going to do some sour cream. Huge fan of sour cream, especially when it comes to Mexican food. So the recipe calls for one cup of sour cream. I'm just going to get that on top of that. About a half a, of one of the large containers, or one small container. Just dollop that there, just spread it around, and try not to mix it with the beans. Try and do it like you're frosting a cake. Okay. Now the next layer calls for one jar, 16 ounce jar of a chunky salsa. So um, I'm going to use mild because then everybody at my game day party is going to be happy with it. Uh, if you, you know, like the heat and can take the heat, go ahead and use medium or hot. So that's going to go right down on top of the beans and the sour cream. And now I've got two cups of shredded lettuce. And you know what? This is the time where iceberg lettuce is A-OK. -okay. I know it gets a bad rap, but you know, when you're making tacos in Mexican food, you can't beat it for the crunch. So right down over the top. And then got to have some cheese, right? Two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, or I actually am using a little bit of the Mexican blend cheese, just for a little bit more flavor, but whatever you have is fine. There we go. And I know this gets to be a, a nice big dip. Now I've got some sliced black olives. This is just a small can. And if you don't do olives, leave them out. Not a big deal. Or put them on half. I love them. My kids, not so much. So it just depends on what you like. And then last but not least, I'm going to throw a few chopped scallions on the top. And this is just so yummy. Park it into the refrigerator until you're ready to eat. And then pull it out, serve it with some chips. Good stuff. All right, Doug got to try the pork roast. <laughs> this would be great with it, too. It would be a great starter. It would. Chili lime pork roast we did earlier. Doesn't this look yummy? It looks so amazing and I easy, know. too. I know. And I've got some chips here. Let me try some. You betcha. Dig down in. you got to kind of dig in there. Yeah, absolutely. It's I know really I've, I've told you already, but I'm so excited for you about your cookbook. Thank you very much. I'm excited it's too. It's so awesome. And you're Thank doing you. uh, some signings today, aren't I you? I am. I'm going to be at Festival Foods in Darboy today, right off 441 from 10 to noon. So come on out and see me next Sunday. I'm going to be at the Festival Foods on the east side of Green Bay. Mm. So yummy. I know. I got to dip awesome. into. And make this dip too. Make yeah, it. Absolutely. Very good. Yeah. We'll be right back, you guys. So good.